What's up, YouTube? This is Ricky J. As we are embarking through this epic sandstorm, ready to face the toughest boss in this game so far for me. I know I'm saying that in every video, but Yellow Wind Sage is going to take you through an experience I don't think any of you guys have ever had in gaming. This guy's so tough. Makes your heart race. It even will make you cry in defeat and cry in victory. Yes, I did cry in defeat and victory. But before you face him, I want to say, you have to find all the Buddha eyeballs. There's six of them, which will unlock this Shidang Gang. I love the name of this rock monster. So you have to face this rock boss. This is very important in order to beat Yellow Wind Sage, in my honest opinion. So if you could take down this big boy, hit him up in that rocky booty. He's going to unlock a necessary piece that's going to allow you to craft a staff that's going to be able to unleash unbelievable damage against Yellow Wind Sage. Okay, hopefully you got all that. So if you once you find the six Buddha eyeballs on the, the map in this area, you're going to be able to unlock them. And then you're going to be able to craft with that Heart of Stone piece, the Cloud Pattern Stone Staff. And it's better than the Wind Bear Staff. It's giving you, what, plus 10 in attack, plus 30 in defense. This weapon is going to help you, man, take down this epic boss, Yellow Wind Sage. Now, he comes at you in three phases, I believe. In the beginning, what I do is I like to immobilize him right away. I feel like this is the best way to beat him. Let me know if I'm wrong, but once you charge at him, so I always add this uh, nice little coat there, and then I immobilize him, hit him up right away, and then I am constantly turning, rolling, and I'm not trying to complete my combos against him here. I'm just touching him a little bit, and then... See how I tried to finish my combo? That is wrong. So I made a mistake there. So just touch him a little. And then continue to move. Continue to move. I go into the cloud step to allow myself to get healed. So use the cloud step as a defensive mechanism to hide and be stealth so you could drink your healing potions. Okay? Now right here, I'm continuing to roll as I see him... See how he, he continues to try to get me in close quarters? I'm continuing to stay in close to his legs. And I'm rolling and trying to unleash damage. I go to the red tides here because I'm using the red tides in this phase one to get him down and to maintain my health for later on. So as you know, with red tides, you get a new health bar. So I'm trying to stay in his face and unleash as much damage as I can. I get back to my normal character. I immobilize him. I hit him up with a nice little heavy strike. And this is the beginning of phase two. So you want to back away as much as you can. And he comes at you with uh, where one guy, he unloads the ground there. Always move, roll, and then he hits you with two swings. This guy hits you with a jumping attack or tries to hit you, and I'm continuing to roll. Then the big guy comes, Yellow Wind Sage comes. There's a little bit of a delay in that where he <laughs> tries to stomp on you, and I'm continuing to roll. You got to constantly move, and I like to stay in between his legs. <laughs> that's, that's, that's so bad, but that's what I like to do. When he gets to this point here where he starts calling <laughs> for the big guy above, you could actually strike, and then I try to get away. And I, I didn't do too well right here. I got hit, but that's okay. I replenish. I'm looking at my stamina too. He will <laughs> unloads the ground. It's really... This is so hard, man. But I'm constantly moving. Watching him. Looking at his every move. And once I have the immobilized perk, I am using it right away. And I always like to jump and hit him with a heavy strike. And then I'm continuing to work at that leg. When I see him swiping, I gotta keep on moving. I hit him up in the booty. And remember, I'm running out. Here is phase three, I believe, but I'm running out of uh, the ability to use all my perks. I think I have one more to go. 
So right here in this phase, I'm trying to stay right in his face and unload. I dodge out of the way. I hit him up with a nice strike that kind of stunned him there. And as he's bringing the sand <laughs> and the elements to try to take me out, I'm still continuing to hit him up. He takes me for a ride there with the wind. And then I'm still staying in his face. Again, you got to find those moments to get close to him. You really need to get close to him, especially in this last phase here. But you got to keep on staying locked in because he could take you out. When he tries to step on you, you got to try to avoid that because that's going to take out a lot of power. Here we go. He's going with the full throttle kitchen sink action at you. And I'm still trying to move around, trying to be patient. Remember, I have one more health swing I could take out of my flask there. So I'm feeling pretty good. But I'm just waiting for him to unleash his attacks. You lose a little bit of power there. That's okay. I get into Cloud Step just to give myself one more coat. And then I try to get right into him. Trying to swing as fast as I can. My heart is pounding. My legs are shaking. And then I take him out. Yellow Wind Sage goes down. And the whole time he was fighting with that head in his left hand. So the key is... Holy smokes, man. I, I'm not going to lie and say that he's easy to beat. This is such a tough boss. But the key is, right in the beginning, immobilize, get right in his face, keep on moving around, hit him up, get into red tides to get phase one to finish. And then you got to start dodging. And then when you have an opportunity, get close to him, continue to dodge and hit him up with strikes. Don't let him be far away from you for too long because he's going to find a way to take you out and don't forget to use the cloud step to replenish your wounds man and get your health back to full tier but this was such a tough boss man i think it took me in total four hours to beat him i beat him yesterday at like 1 30 in the morning and i was crying man i was so happy i'm like i can't believe i did it <laughs> but this is a phenomenal game man i've said this before in previous videos it's next generation gaming right here at your fingertips so if you're not playing black myth wukong you're missing out it's beautiful it feels like you're in a different world man and it's fantastic now for chapter three it's a snow snow element like snow world and i love winter it's my favorite season so i'm gonna have so much fun with that but keep it locked here for more videos for more tips on how to beat these epic bosses and i'll see you guys soon man how amazing is this hopefully you guys do it and let me know your comments i'm repeating myself i'm out of here for real now take care guys you are the sole worthy one to keep it Please, keep it secure in my stead. <laughs>